many people get confused between a pitch deck and a company narrative. A pitch deck is a very specific form of communications. It's a for it's a communication format, if you will. A pitch deck is really an overview of a project, whether it's a new venture or, or a product launch or a geographical expansion or a transformation, something that is typically limited in time and that requires the help of other outside uh, stakeholders, if you will. So we talk about investors pitch deck, sales pitch deck, partners pitch deck. It's really only a document, typically a presentation or a, a just a, a typical text document with images and key points. It's succinct. The text is usually uh, short and should be sharp and clear. And it's meant to convince people to take action, such as invest in our company, give us money or buy from us or join and work, work with us. So it's very specifically geared towards um, a, a very precise format. In fact, the concept of pitch, pitch deck surfaced maybe 20 to 30, 40 years ago in the business world and was mostly dictated, was mostly imposed by financial institutions, investors, business angels uh, to create uh, more clarity and, and to format the way they were going to have conversations with entrepreneurs. So a pitch deck is really one piece of a much broader system, of a much broader set of tools, practices, stories that uh, you may develop to uh, grow your business. In fact, uh, I just use the word story because many people also confuse the concept of story and pitch deck. Pitch decks may use a story to help the audience better understand what the point is and what the action that they uh, should take, but not necessarily always. It's, it actually is recommended. Storytelling is very powerful. It's a great thing to do. It's a great, it's a great way to get clarity and really get people to uh, take action. That's great. Uh, a pitch deck can have one or two stories or, or different stories within, within the pitch deck. Uh, and uh, really the stories are just a single elements of a, like I said, of a much broader system that I now define as a narrative. So let's turn to the concept of narrative now. A narrative, a company narrative is a system of stories, of norms, of practices that the company has developed over time to have what I call narrative power, which is really the presence of the company in the market and also in the minds of people, whether they're outside and inside uh, the, the company. It refers to the broader concept, the broader definition of the narrative. A narrative is often a word that we uh, catch ourselves use in uh, society uh, to define the narrative about the economy, the narrative about a culture, the narrative about a community. Think about it as a much, much broader concept. A narrative, again, is a system. A narrative is built and made with so many different things and not just what you say, such as a pitch deck, but also, and most importantly, what you do. So to illustrate this difference, uh, let me bring here on screen uh, the concept that I visually uh, created on page 56 of my book, Strategic Narrative, that I actually narrate for you in a video uh, here on this uh, YouTube channel. So on page 56 of my book, you will see this diagram. What is this diagram telling you? On the left side is what a narrative looks like when it's a little bit broken, when it's uh, disorganized, disjointed, where links are not very, very clear. It's typically what happens when we have built a company in, in different stages when we are not really aligned, where uh, things kind of say different things. We're not very clear. We're not very focused. We and, and therefore, we don't make a lot of traction. It feels like the company is stalling sometimes. We are losing deals. Uh, we have a hard time recruiting and we are not very excited about the, what the company stands for. On the right side of this diagram, I'm showing you here what a strategic narrative does. When your narrative is strategically organized, when it's well thought through, when um, it's really tied to the leadership's core values and where the company wants to go, 
Well, that's what happens. The narrative uh, acts almost like a, as a magnet. And you can see here in this diagram where an investor's pitch deck would be located here on the right-hand side. A pitch deck in both pictures is only one piece of the equation. It's only one tiny element. It's only one window into the world of an organization inside, but also outside. So keep that in mind as people... Uh, ask you or tell you, hey, let's uh, let's tell our story or let's let's build our narrative. What is it that they are trying to do? Actually, many many times, actually, almost often, most people don't know. <laughs> and conversations about uh, building the company narrative are very confusing sometimes. What is it that we are trying to build? What is it that trying that we are trying to say? Are we trying to build a pitch deck that is a very specific format, as I expressed earlier? Or are we trying to change the way the company operates and understands itself? Are we trying to evolve the identity of, of the business here? If you are a the CEO, the founder of a company that has a team, it may be a large endeavor to do that. You have to change really how your company operates. If you are a solopreneur, Maybe the challenge is smaller, but still you have you will have to evolve the way you are used to communicate where your company is headed, what it stands for, what it provides to the market, but also the narrative inside you, what you tell yourself about your own business. When you do this, you create what I call narrative power, something much, much broader, much bigger, um, much more valuable than just a pitch deck, which is something much more discreet and very, very uh, useful, but only for a very specific goal, very, very specific project. All right. I hope that this video helps you. I hope that I was able to help you gain clarity between those two concepts. And as always, I welcome your questions and comments uh, below this video. Thank you.